Go Jean and Hart, beep, beep, beep. Oh my gosh, you scared me. Hello, oh, has the video started? Oh, it has? Oh, I'm so sorry. I got carried away listening to Russian Roulette, which speaking of is the topic of today's video. I love Russian Roulette, as you can tell. <laughs> So I've decided to look a little bit more into the theories and the music video and the lyrics of Russian Roulette. Russian Roulette is like one of my favorite K-pop songs ever. It is just so catchy and it's by Red Velvet and I am just in love with all of their works and I will never get enough of their songs. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. You've probably noticed that Russian Roulette's instrumental sounds very ecstatic and happy. On a site called Doombat, which felt like it was going to give me a virus by the amount of buttons on the screen, even says the song has a happiness rating of 96. But the song is in the key G minor. G minor is a key that usually should make the listener feel uncomfortable and uneasy. Choosing the key of G minor was a very smart decision by whoever produced the instrumental. Even though Russian Roulette is cute and cheerful on the outside, the meaning of the song is quite the opposite, as you probably noticed. The 8-bit instrumental also makes it sound like a video game. 8-bit and chiptune sounds are frequently used in video games, which shows that this is a game that they are playing. A horrifying, bloody game. I love all the details that have gone into this song, because even the instrumental can somehow make you feel like discontent. It's very cool. For those who do not know, Russian Roulette is a risky game where someone loads a bullet into one chamber of a revolver, spins the cylinder, and then pulls the trigger while pointing the gun straight at their own head. There is a chance of surviving and a chance of dying, which is absolutely terrifying. But I think some of the lyrics that represent this are the pre-chorus. In the demo of the song, in the English demo, there is this very creepy pre-chorus. I will read the lyrics to you now. You think that love is a game. And if that's true, somebody is gonna lose. And if you play, I'll say, I'm going to win. Are we ever going to find our way? And you still think love is a game. And if that is so, why do you stutter the words? And if you play, I'll say, I'm going to win. Your eyes give it all away. Whew, chills. Other lyrics that I like are, this is a game you cannot control because Russian roulette is all up to chance and there's no real way of knowing if you're going to live or if you're not going to make it out. Now they do mention, you know, who's going to win the game, and some fans did try to find out who actually won, which takes us to the music video and the theories. The bright, colorful music video gives the song a whole different type of eerie vibe than if it had more neutral colors. Don't get me wrong, it would still be equally dark when Sulgi cuts a string to make a fridge fall on Joy's head, which was insane. But something about her and the rest of the group's emotionless expressions and cute outfits and settings make this so much more off-putting than if they were in a set like Psycho. In the first music video, I counted eight times where the girls attempted to kill each other, and we're just going to assume that they all happened. First, straight out the gate, we have Wendy pulling the string of Sulgi's sweater, and using a lighter, she lights the string on fire. We don't see Sulgi on fire, but we can assume that she is. This kind of reminds me of when cartoon characters would try to blow each other up. I don't know if you remember old cartoons like that, but it gives me so much of those vibes. Later on, Wendy drains the pool and pushes Yeri in, followed by Yeri serving breakfast, which is actually screw cereal. That is such a bad way to go. Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> During the bridge, Sulgi and Irene plan to kill Wendy right under her hospital bed, before pushing her straight in front of a car, speeding towards her. Like I mentioned earlier, Sugi got to string to make whatever this is. Is that a fridge? I don't know. Anyway, we are left to assume that it falls on Joy's head, crushing her. This bit was foreshadowed in the beginning of the music video, but this is a much bigger trap. It almost reminds me of a mouse trap, um, like the game. Have you guys ever seen it? I'll put a picture on the screen, but... There used to be this game called Mousetrap, and it was like these very complex thing. I don't know, I've never played it, I've just seen it before. Anyway, while our final chorus is being sung, we have this triple whammy of Wendy and Sugi pushing a piano onto Joy, Joy hitting a tennis ball straight for Irene, and Yeri just pouring a basket of them on her head, and everyone pushing lockers onto Sugi. 
This is pretty ironic because, like I had just mentioned about the big mousetrap she had made, the smaller one included dominoes falling, but now the dominoes are coming straight for her, and they're pretty big this time. I always wondered why tennis was used in the music video, but while researching, something had clicked in my brain. Back in the day when my mom had made my brother and I do every single sport out there to try and get us a hobby, we had tried tennis. We were both awful, but I do remember the scoring system. In a game of tennis, each team or player starts out with zero points, or love. So basically, when counting the score, if someone has one point, aka 15, because the counting system's weird, and another player has zero, aka love, the score would be 15 love. The more points you score, the farther away you get from love, but the closer you get to winning. Another person I found online had an amazing theory that was similar to mine. They said that since love is game, the members can be seen playing and scoring points, aka the attempts of murder, but they lose themselves because they get farther away from love each time they score. While they get better at love, they become more and more cruel as well. We see the members playing other games in the gym, such as dodgeball and cat's cradle, but they play all of these games together. They do each other's makeup and get comfortable with each other, but they never seem to be alarmed. They are all sabotaging each other behind each other's backs, and it is just crazy. It's the craziest music video I've ever seen. Anyway, pulling this from another theory, someone else thinks that all of the members like the same boy, so they're all trying to, you know, kill each other so they can have him. I, I think that's a good theory, and I think it lines up, but let me know what you think. Anyway, this is a game. We have to have a winner, which I think would be Irene. At the end of the game, the amount of kills were Joy 3, Yeri 7, Wendy 6, Sugi 4, and Irene 2. As for deaths, Joy had 3, Yeri had 1, Wendy had 2, Sugi had 3, and Irene had 4. You might be thinking, why didn't Yeri win? She crushed the competition with 7 kills. Well, like I mentioned earlier, they lose themselves because they get farther away from love each time they score. They are competing for love, but they have the game all wrong. In order to win, you need to be closer to love and have the least amount of points, which would make our winner Irene. We even see Irene get shot with the heart bullet at the end of the music video. While Irene died the most, she did the least amount of harm. In this deadly game of love, she is by far the biggest loser, and yet she is the one who gets shot with the love bullet. She stays in love because she hasn't lost herself in the chaos and murder. During the video, we also see a cat and mouse who are parallel to the members. All of the killings are very cartoony, which I think is why we have this obvious reference to Tom and Jerry. I mean, we have the classic piano death, rainbow screw cereal, death to tennis balls. This isn't your regular game. After all of the competition between the girls and the animals, the cat finally dies at the end, smushed into the shape of a fridge. Unlike the other times it's been crushed, it seems unconscious. This tells us that our game is over and Irene is the winner. Adding to the creepiness, we also have a raven, which is a symbol of death. This raven seems to almost be watching all of this play out, cocking his head and looking around ever so often. This isn't that crazy, but these tennis balls bouncing up and down and sink and just being everywhere in the music video is pretty trippy. I also think this just confirms the tennis theory even more because it's just right in our faces at this point. I also love the little masks and different screen sizes of this video. There's also a point in the music video where some of the screen is tilted and the aspect ratio is wrong. I don't know if that's done on purpose, but I, I think that's pretty cool. We also have a no skateboarding allowed sign in a tennis court. This is very out of the ordinary, but also tells people to have caution, which is very ironic for this song. We also have another sign that has no in big bold letters, and while I can't read it, I think it's safe to assume that this is a safety sign because of the no. Later, there's also some locker room safety rules, which foreshadows Sugi's death because, you know, she kind of has some lockers coming for her later. The members also always target people who are with Irene. Like when Yeri is pushed into the empty pool, and the piano is only pushed in Joy's direction while Irene and Joy play Cat's Cradle. I have no explanation for this one. Maybe it's because she won the game, I'm not entirely sure. 
But after it was pointed out to me by a friend, I thought this was pretty weird and I really wanted to include this. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm curious. I I don't really know why she's always there. Maybe it's just a coincidence. But let me know. Whew, that was a lot to unpack. I love making this video. I know there was a lot of information I just shoved in your face. But if you'd also like to overflow me with information, I would love to hear your thoughts. Making this video was such a fun way to research what I think is the most interesting K-pop music video ever. It is so aesthetically pleasing in such a weird way, but I think that's what makes it so great. Of course, I talked about my theory and thoughts, but I'd love to hear yours down below as well. One of my favorite things is analyzing things around me and taking a closer look at deeper meanings. I'd love to discuss with you all in the comments, so feel free to type away. I'll read them all. Anyway, goodbye everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do an even deeper dive on this or something else. I would love to hear your ideas. Anyway, bye!